Hello and welcome to Sun. What have I done? How could I be so foolish to trust this darkness that lied beneath the cursed dunes of this land? Why did I dismiss the warnings of the elders and only listen to the young, the foolish, only heard what I wanted to hear? For the moment I thought that this bright flash of light was the embodiment of powers that would restore the health of my son. Instead he was taken, while I was powerless, paralyzed by magic and fear. I must save him, stop this wicked force from haunting me and holding my son. I know he is alive. I can feel his presence inside this sphere of light. Yet I'm hopeful even this hope is based on the uncertainty. I feel pain, yet I'm hopeful. I could not live with myself if something happened to him. No, there must be a way to save him. And this way leads me through the sand. Have you heard a better voice actor? Better storyteller's voice in a game so far? I don't think I have. I absolutely love this. Wandering the desert, a notion came into my mind that before was a mere whisper in the back of my head. One of the voices that warned me of this ordeal. Words that knew that I was doomed. Just wanted to save me. To fight the light of day, you must find the light of night. For it is the cold of the darkness that holds the power to tame the fire. And as I wandered through the dunes, it dawned on me. What dawned you? Well... So we have a sun. Or maybe we're talking about the sun. There it is. Going down. Oh, it actually moves without us moving. But then it stops there. And we have to save him or the sun. I think I see another table. Silly, really. Wooden tables in the desert next to fallen ruins. And what are these crystals? There it is before me, a city lost in the sand, like a crown that sits above the dunes. A temple has its throne, its light gleaming like the jewels of a king. The king who have must have left this place ages ago along with his people. I am certain I will not find a soul here, though I would welcome it if it were otherwise. I haven't seen another man in days. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonders. A bit buggy textures. Should have put some distance between them, I guess. Well, people praying to the sun, people dying in the sun, some kind of sun god, or I don't know. Let's see where this takes us. Oh my. What will happen now? Why are you so small? What do you have there? Bow and arrow? 
Five people. There's something with blue light on the right. Well, let's find out what kind of game this really is. Obviously the blue stones are significant. Camels without riders. Wait, are they smiling? Nope. Zoyeon. Would I be going here? There is nowhere I can go now. The gate is locked. It seems as if the sun can feel my presence. Do we have to is go the there? Powers. Is it looking for me? Will it haunt me until my very end? Or is it my son looking for me to rescue him? Oblivious to the effect of this burning light. It is only this hope that keeps me going. I wonder, is there a path up there? Oh my, please don't get up. I'm afraid he will. There was a... Holy hell. I see. Will it follow me here? I'm sorry. But let us just... I think it just jumped forward. Stay on the right, why don't ya? Not again. Not again. This might be our son. No, please. We are safe here, aren't we? I am confused now. Oh. There seems to be an entrance. Oh, son, you big troll. What are you after? Holy hell. Go back, son. You're drunk. Jeez. This is getting silly. I enjoy the sound design, but no thanks.
Well, it's a, it's a nice uh, variation from the usual walk walker simulation, the usual walking simulation. And could I have just made a cut through all of this by going through the sand? Let's just check. No, I don't think so. It would have been interesting to try, though. What about these blue crystals? I really do wonder. If this was a first-person shooter... This city had fallen a long time ago. Only the dead remain. Statues full of dread and sorrow. Their silhouettes cutting through the dust. Around him drawings on the walls that seem to tell us about days long gone of life and of the decay that came over this place. What are they doing? I am safe in here, right? Right? Right. Oh no. What was that though? Did I just get killed by the realization? That my son is dead? Is my son the son? R, R, R. I suppose I should ignore them. Oh, there was another son. I feel more and more trapped as I navigate these serpent alleyways. It seems as if the stone structures of the city are closing in on me. The deadly heat only waiting to burn me as I approach the next corner. There must be a way through this forsaken city. This labyrinth of the devil. Are you talking about this? It's too... Um... The moral of the story is uh, wear your shades and uh, smear yourself with sunblock. Am I going the right way? I suppose the blue crystals say yes. Holy moly. No. Damn it. Get the hell out of here. This is getting a little bit, maybe a little bit too challenging. <coughs> we shall continue on though. Stop this. Oh boy. Was this a, is this the right path even? Is there no s why aren't you saying anything? Don't you come to me. I, I 
have almost made it. I can see the glowing temple towering right above me. I wonder what will await me there if this is truly the holy ground that holds the light of night. Light of night. What kind of construct is that? I forget. An oxymoron? Oxymoron? Well, let us safely, slowly approach. Should we keep going? I'm pretty sure I have to go up the stairs. Is this but a trap? Damn it. What the hell is wrong? Is the game bugged? Please let it not be. <sighs> oh, shush. Oh, shut up. This sucks. I want my voice acting. Uh, I mean, I want my storyteller Stellar to continue telling. Shush. Shoo. Boo. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, I wonder if that was a way. Probably not. God damn it! Mm, no! I just take me, you stupid piece of sun. This is getting annoying. One, two. Come on now, you stupid ball of light. Oh boy. Why can I not trigger this? I've almost made it. I can see the glowing temple towering right above me, and I wonder what will await me there, if this truly is the holy ground that holds the light of night. This is the sun's anvil. This is the sun's what? End? Let us explore. I am freaked out by this. Whoa. Yes. Okay, well, let's go to the blue thing first. Oh, 
Oh. It's just an alternative path. Well, that is nice. Knowing that is nice. Please, no more sons to fight. Oh no, there is still so much left to go. Please, more checkpoints. Please, oh please. And gates, let me through. Why don't you? What are these crystals? I really want to know. Alright, let us take the obvious path. Beautiful scenery. The red light stops at some point though, which is strange. I see yet another possibly dead body, possibly burnt. The footsteps have changed. And I want to explore, but also I want to get out of here. There are the four, four I think it were, women surrounding the dead child, I think. Oh. Was it giving birth to one of these sun balls? What are you doing? With the child in her hands? What is this? Thank you for playing the preview of Sun. You can now go and explore the city during the day to quit the game hold escape. I thought this was day and we want the night. The light of night? Interesting. Well, thank you so much for playing. I mean, for watching me play. Let's see what falling damage does. Hehe. <laughs> Let us go visit the poor woman and the child, and then we will be off finding new games. Make sure to like and to subscribe. Oh, I want to jump here. Too bad. Well, I'm sure the invisible walls have good intentions. Yo. Hmm. This music... <clears throat> this music sure is relaxing. After, after having listened to... The sound... <clears throat> the sound earlier. Yet again, I have to say, what a beautiful voice the storyteller has. Weren't they here before? I think they were removed. Well, I hope to see you in the next video. There, there they are. What about my son? Ciao.